Hey everyone, Jacqueline here. So as you can see, today's video is a little bit different. I'm not in my studio. I am out on the beautiful Washington coast. My husband and I are here for work and I thought that I would do a fun video today based off of, or inspired by, I should say, by one of my favorite books. This book is called Riding Wild by Tina Welling. I got this book when we were working and living in the Grand Teton National Park. And I'm gonna take some inspiration from her book but kind of tweak it a little because her book is more about getting you in the writing flow, but I'm gonna help us get into our drawing painting workflow. So let's go ahead and get started. So one of the things that Tina does in her Riding Wild book is she goes on what she calls spirit walks. Now for her, she has three steps that you follow to do the spirit walks, where you're connecting with nature, you're writing down different things to help your like subconscious start writing and going deeper and connecting with nature while also being able to get into a nice writing flow. So I decided to kind of create a more nature walk that's going to help you, one, connect with nature, and two, also be able to sketch what you see. So you're kind of being more like a naturalist and observing the world around you. Now, not everyone has access to a wonderful beach like I do today, but um, because of work, I actually do have this wonderful opportunity. So that's what we're gonna be sketching and working with here today for this video. Step one that I like to do is you go out where you are. I'm on a beach today. You could go to a park. You could go into the forest if you're near like a grove of trees or something. You could even go downtown if like you're an urban sketcher. But one thing that happens to me and I think a lot of other artists is you get out there and you're like, this is so beautiful, but I am overwhelmed like sensory overload of what I should paint, what I should draw, what I should sketch. So we're gonna get that all out on paper first. So all you need for this exercise is a notebook or sketchbook and a pencil or pen, whatever you um, want to use. So what we are going to do first is with your notebook or sketchbook, you're going to write out everything. Start big, start with like, I'm on the beach, there's the ocean, there's logs, there's sand. And I want you to go down smaller and smaller and smaller and just write everything that you see everything that you hear, use all your senses. What do you smell? What can you touch and feel? Just write everything that you can. You wanna get it out of your brain, out of your head, and onto the page. So that's the first thing that we're gonna do. So I'm not gonna use my notebook. I think I'm actually just gonna dive into my sketchbook. So let's grab that. So I have my sketchbook and I have my pencil. And we're gonna start, like I said, big and then get down to small. Step two of this nature walk is to pick something that you are most drawn to. And for me out at the beach, it's usually seashells. Um, so I went towards the ocean, I walked out there, and I started finding all of these seashells that I think maybe like a little sea otter or something opened them to eat what was inside. And it kind of left all of these, they're kind of broken, but they kind of look like angel wings or something like that. So I was finding those and I also found this really pretty seashell um, and I was like I think this is the piece that I want to focus on today until I saw a sand dollar. Now I gotta kind of get some of the sand off of it. Haha, <laughs> sand dollar, sand. <laughs> but 
once you find the thing that you are most drawn to, if you can find multiples of them, like let's say you're in the trees and you find a pine cone, maybe search for another pine cone, see how they're similar, how they're different, because not all same things are like exactly the same, right? So I found some broken sand dollars, if I'm gonna go the sand dollar way, and I found a couple more seashells, if that's the route I'm gonna go. But I want you to think about these pieces. Think, where did it come from? Like if it's a pine cone, did it fall from a nearby tree? Uh, these sand dollars, it probably came from the ocean. And you can start asking these questions about what it looks like, where they're at, you can touch them, feel them, like use all of your senses to really get to know and study this object. Like that's what naturalists like to do. Now they can sit and let's say you picked a bird. I mean, I would suggest maybe not picking like a bird or an insect because they're not gonna stay in front of you very long. You could always take a video or a photo of them, but I'd suggest an inanimate, what is it? An inanimate object um, for you to be able to study. And as you're studying this piece that you picked, like a seashell or a pine cone or something, I want you to, in your sketchbook, start writing like in the margins, like off to the side, answering these questions of being curious about this piece. Uh, and just write it down and write down everything you can think about it. Like the sand dollar has a lot of sand on it. So is it fine sand that you got? Is it wet sand, dry sand? Start detailing everything you can about the object, the piece that you decided that you want to draw today. Um, writing down the colors, the texture, everything that you can. You can take pictures of it. That's always great to have reference photos, especially like if the sun goes down and you're doing this all outside, you might need to pick it up again later tonight or the next day or something. So write down as much as you can and then go ahead and start sketching it. This doesn't have to be a super detailed sketch. You can draw little thumbnails, like little circles, little squares, little triangles in your sketchbook and just start sketching it. Um, and I want you to start with one thing. You can always add to it. Like if you wanna make a spread of the sand and the seashells and a feather that you saw, like you can do that, but I want you to start with one thing. I don't want you to feel overwhelmed. I know we as artists get inspired by so much and we want to put it all on the page, but I really highly suggest starting with one thing so that you can get into the flow of nature studies as you go on your wonderful nature walk. So I'm going to get my sketchbook and I'm going to start sketching. <laughs> Perfect. So now I have sketched out some thumbnails. I did some more naturalist like sitting there and looking at the sand dollar because that's what I chose that I want to draw today. And I talked about the color and like how here in the center there's like these four or five little pinprick little like holes. And I talked about the underside and I even did like a little side view of it as you saw. And so I wrote all those notes. I did quick little sketches and I think it would be really fun to do a top, a bottom and a side view, just like I kind of did here. I started playing over here with like, oh, it was sitting on a log and I have a reference photo of that. But I actually think I want to do um, this that I was sketching over here. So I'm going to do that. So now we are going into step number three. So step three is where we are going to start sketching or painting. I think I'm gonna stick mostly to sketching. I haven't decided if I wanna add any splashes of color or anything, but for now I think I might just do um, graphite. Um, I even have this watercolor graphite that I've been playing around with, so I might test that in here as well. So we are going to start with our subject and we're gonna start sketching it. But as you go through this, um, you kind of start getting into this painting flow and your mind kind of opens up more. And this is uh, talked about in the Writing Wild book as well, where you might have like memories pop up. You might have something like, oh, I was on the beach today and actually the sand dollar, a memory that popped up for me was when I was seven years old, I visited my grandparents out on the East Coast and they took me to the beach. And that was my first time ever seeing a sand dollar. And I actually bought one at one of those boardwalk uh, 
cute little shops or whatnot. Now this one I found on the beach, which I think is even cooler, but you can take a memory of the thing that you have found and it doesn't even have to be tied to the thing that you found to draw. Mine just happened to be that way. And you can take that. And that day for me was a warm, sunny day. We were feeding the seagulls. It was hot. And those are just the glimpses of memories I remember from when I was seven. And that can help influence you in your painting, your drawing, whatever you're creating. Because today was a very foggy, but sometimes sunny day for me. And you can totally do the weather or the things that are around you, but you can also take that memory, take that thing that popped into your head and use it to help you start creating like a color palette. So if I wanted to add color, I could create like maybe a background of these warm, sunny blue skies or, a, you know, sunshine colors if I wanted to. So the cool thing about this is not just drawing what you see, which naturalists do that as well, but also trying to incorporate something that, I don't know, just touches your soul a little bit. Like when you see this drawing, it's not just of a sand dollar. For me, it's going to remind me of when I was a little girl and I went to the beach with my grandparents um, for the very first time. So just keep that in mind as you are drawing. Because again, this doesn't have to be your final piece. This could just be, now I have a piece of paper because I wanted to keep my sketchbook off to the side. I could also flip the page and just start drawing on this as well. But for the sake of the video, I decided to put it on this nice um, arches paper or arch, arch, arch. I still don't know. I think you're supposed to say it that way, but I still call it arches. Um, let me know. What do you call it? Uh, you can let me know in the comments below. But anyways, I'm going to put it on this paper just so you can see and we're gonna kind of see what I create. I'm gonna start with this, but who knows, it might evolve into something. It might just stick with the idea that I came up with today. Um, perhaps after I draw this, I might want to draw more or later I can draw more. That's the wonderfulness of art and creating fun exercises like this. So let's go ahead and dive in. So as you can see, it's a little bit later. Uh, I got a little distracted doing other things, but I thought this beautiful sunset would be a perfect way to end this video. Um, it's really amazing what you can do with a little bit of nature, a pencil and some paper. Um, you can just make really beautiful art. I loved being able to look and really like study the sand dollar that I found on the beach on this wonderful time. And I'll show you in my sketchbook. All the things that we created today. We went through the list of finding things, big and small. We sketched out some ideas and then we created a nice final piece. And feel free to continue on with your pieces. Like I said, start with one thing. And if you want to add more to it or create a scene, you totally can. But it's wonderful to just pick one thing out in nature and really get to know it. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know in the comments below what your favorite part was or what was your one thing that you painted or drew today. And I would love, love, love to know about it. And I will see you all in the next one. Cheers.